Colonial Nursing Home is a 48 skilled bed facility that specializes in both short-term and long-term care. We walk into a living room area with a TV and several sitting areas. Across the hall, we can see the dining room area. This is where our bingo sessions are located. As you can tell, we transform the room each day into one long table so that everyone is sitting together. The purpose and take home message of this project was to show the older adult population that a little bit of exercise can improve their quality of life in a variety of ways. These ways can include decreased chance of exacerbation of chronic medical conditions and can also improve their daily activities of living by being more flexible and being more muscular fit. I've gained so many things from this experience. I've seen firsthand the difficulty healthcare providers have with trying to get older adults to participate in physical activity. Bingo Size has taught me the communication skills and adaptability that I will need for the rest of my career. I've always considered myself a good communicator, but it's definitely a different story when you're trying to describe an exercise to someone who either has no clue what you're talking about or does not care. The combination of learning patience and direct cues have also helped me a lot. I've learned how to accommodate to different needs and be more creative when it comes to the exercises. The most rewarding part of this project has been putting a smile on the residents' faces and listening to the stories they have for me. I love leaving and knowing I made a small difference in their physical and mental health. Alright, so I'm here with Morgan. Morgan is a senior at what, WKU and he's been our uh, uh, Colonial Center contact these last several weeks. So Morgan. What do you think the residents think about the bingo size program? Oh, I think they love it. Um, every day I keep getting asked questions, when are we doing more bingo size? And, you know, I have to unfortunately break their hearts and tell them that we're only doing it on Thursday. So uh, I think they enjoy it a lot. Good, good. Um, do you think that, uh, so you're here every day. So Tuesday we played normal bingo. They played normal bingo. Yes. And then on Thursday they used to come with the bingo with us and we played bingo mm -hmm. size. Do you think there's any sort of uh, emotional or mental difference between on days they played normal bingo, it's more sedentary, and versus the bingo size, we're actually being more active? I do. I do because uh, on Thursdays when we uh, do uh, bingo size, they're they're a little bit more active, and um, I've noticed uh, recently that they're always up more on bingo size and ready to get at it and they're very uh they're very mentally uh strong during uh thursdays as well okay so cool all right well thank you for your time and uh like i said this is morgan appreciate it oh, let's twist again. hey this is bobby and he's gonna tell us what he likes about bingo size i enjoy it what parts do you like? Do you have any favorite exercises you like to do? Because you like to, you want to be able to walk more during your exercises? You like to walk? Yep. Has bingo size been helping your balance for walking? Helping my brain. Helping your brain? <laughs> What's left of your brain? I, I think there's plenty there. I don't think you have to worry about that. You have? What's your favorite part, Ben? Favorite part? Yeah. Do you have a favorite exercise or just coming in? No, I do. I enjoy doing all the exercises. All of them? Yeah, because I can manage physical therapy. Yeah. Well, that helps you a lot coming from therapy and in here. Do you think that um, coming to bingo size helps reduce the risk of falling? I know that you're walking with a walker, but you did pretty good walking around. Yeah, uh, for sure. There's one thing in particular I would like to have changed for our sessions. The sessions began at 9.35 in the morning, and some of our participants are not really morning people. Thankfully, they always pushed on and engaged in the exercises. However, an afternoon session would have been preferable for our participants. It would also have been beneficial to have more sessions throughout the week. The residents would get more exercises, and all of us would have more time to build more personal relationships. 
When our group began to think about what our participants needed most from the Bingo Size program, we realized that improvements to activities of daily living was most important. This bar graph displays the differences in the percentages of ADL and IDL limitations in three types of communities. Our facility falls under the long-term care category. As you can see, this category has the highest percentage of residents who have three or more ADL limitations, as well as a very low percentage who have no functional limitations. It was our goal to translate these needs into bingo size and relate as many exercises to the activities that they perform each day in order for them to stay as independent as possible. Examples might include opening the door, wringing out the washcloth, grabbing something from the top shelf, or just getting in and out of bed. The take home message that I'd like to leave with people is that there are a lot of stereotypes that go along with the elderly population. But if there's one thing that I've learned from this experience, it's that the main thing that they're desiring is an opportunity to, to have people that care about them and to have an opportunity to have people that want to invest time and energy in, in helping them. They enjoy us being there. They enjoy talking to us and hanging out with us. But you know, more importantly than that, they get an opportunity to exercise, which is not something that they do very often. And you can definitely see a difference between when you first get there and when, when you leave. So I think it's something that's greatly important. It's something that I will definitely take away from this experience. Yeah, let's twist it.